Oh yeah, another BC beauty from my brother from another mother, Mr. Phil Wade. Look at this beauty as I start off with a nice spray into the right deep rough. This course is not run, pod run, spray approved. It's a tight course, but it's lots of fun, a ton of elevation chains, and P. Wade has done an amazing job on this course. On a side note, boys, I talked to the old wife of Rooney's about the old back rub idea, how they should embrace our obsessions and just give us a back rub after we play. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just talk about P. Wade now, all right? Uh, that conversation didn't go so well for me. P. Wade, he's a Canadian. I'm a Canadian. He's a BC guy. I'm a BC guy. By the way, for you guys in the deep south in the States, uh, we don't live in igloos in the wintertime. And no, our cops don't ride around on horses. They actually have cars, all right? I love the States. America. Anyway, I think I play with the lighting here. Yeah, I'm going to switch it up. My projector seems to like the earlier morning or the late afternoon, but I brought it to about 9.30 this morning, and it is gorgeous. Anyway, P. Wade. So this is his second course, only his second course. His first course is Shaughnessy, a private club out in Vancouver on GS Pro. Go check it out. I know he's going to redo that with the V4 tools. Uh, so this is his second course. But there's a lot of history with this course. This course is, oh, nice pot. Look at that. Robbed. This course is over a year in the making, but not because of what you think. Phil has had a great time with this course in the sense that he's had some computer problems. He got the old Windows update, blue screen of death the first time around, and was only able to salvage a little bit of this course from it. But it's a good thing he did a backup. Oh no, the backup was corrupt. Kind of like that. Uh, anyway, he couldn't salvage anything. He basically just, oh, what what was that fromage? He, could, he couldn't salvage anything. He basically had only the Inkscape to go with. Note to you designers, as Phil told me, do a backup on an external drive. Otherwise, you run into the problem Phil had. But he kept with it. It was a struggle. Phil and I go way back to the first courses we did. I started Predator the same time as he started Shaughnessy. He talked me off the ledge about 20 times when I wanted to quit because back then it wasn't so straightforward as it is now. There wasn't as much uh, help from like Master's video and stuff like that, video series. So, ooh, oh, oh. Rusty gets an eagle. I said Rusty doesn't get eagles, but Rusty got an eagle. Here we go, back to even par. Yeah, loving it. Anyway, so Phil, yeah, so he he basically got everything together, got back into it. Now this course is really unique in the sense that oh, good drive, Rusty's bombing it. Bob Chung talking about my ball speed on Discord today. Yeah, take that, Bob. All right, Bob's always the top of the world golf rankings. The guy can outdrive me. I'm just giving him a hard time. But look at that approach shot, Bob. Anyway, uh, ooh, Bernie. Yeah, plus an eagle. I am flying high right now. Don't worry, I come back down to earth here shortly. This course is very unique with what Phil has done here. He has old schooled it with new school. So this is his first sat overlay project. So he's done the beauty, the meshing. You see the browns and the greens and the yellows and the grass is amazing and everything kind of flows nice. I love it. I love what I see here. What he's done though, which is neat, is a lot of the rock work he's exposed and he's used the Unity terrain. If you've watched my other videos, I've talked about mesh terrains and Unity ter ter terrains. If you haven't watched those videos, 
I got nothing for you. But a lot of the exposed rock is from a Unity terrain, which we used to do old school, and we would go and we would paint it in Unity terrain, which is what he's done. And he's blended that with the mesh terrains, and that's what's giving these rocks and these mountains such a cool look, is the blend on both of them. So that is really special. Almost as special as that drive, Bob. All right, here we go. I think I am a little left here for the tree. Nice little, nice little shot. Give myself a nice little approach shot here. Ooh, too far into the rough. Uh, but that's what he's done. So you look, you look with the sun, with the with the with the trees. Oh, nice approach shot. Nice approach shot, Russ. Gonna just tap this in. Just oh. From Ash, no go. Disappointing par. I feel like Run Pud Run with his driver right now. All right, we're already in the eighth hole. Par four, 353 yards. Love this course. Lots of elevation changes. Love the mow lines. And look at the texture of the fairway. It's really unique. Phil has done a great job. And he's he's his work with with the colors, with the post processing volume, which I talked about. Another beauty approach by Rusty. He's got a nice warm tone to his post processing volume, which is really hard to get and fill. This last little bit, the last thing we kind of did, because I've been I've been talking with him as much as I could on this he's been kind of messaging me so I've you know I've given him a few pointers whether he took them or not I don't know the last thing he did to make this course shine all right was what we call uh, deferred rendering so he switched from a, a normal rendering of of the 3d objects to a deferred rendering I'm not going to explain it. Ooh, birdie pot I'm not going to explain it, but anyway, deferred rendering gives you a big boost on performance. He was having a few holes that were a little tough for him, and now the thing is just purring like a kitten as we go on to the 10th, and I keep bombing drives, Bob. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, so anyway, Phil has done just a wonderful job. A little, not a bad approach there. All right, let's put this up. Let's put it. And oh, 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 come on. You've got to be kidding me. All right, another par. Now, those of you that have had the fortune to interact with Phil on P. Wade on SGT, you know he, oh, flyover material. Look at how beautiful this hole is. Phil is the nicest guy on SGT. He is such a nice guy. But when you play with him, he will make you feel like a bad golfer because everything he does is dart, 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 dart. And me, it's spray, spray, dart, spray, spray, dart. Anyway, you get over that because he's such a nice guy. He's 63. He's retired. He's got a great family. He goes, he's got one daughter that's on the university golf team. Uh, he lives, like I said, in Comox Valley on Vancouver Island, and he says he's 63 in a month, when a month, which he thinks is going to make him the oldest designer. I'm not sure about that, but what a spray that was! Ugh, awful. All right, I get out, give myself a chance to get up and down here. Let's see how it goes. 31 yards. They got the 58 out. Oh, not too bad. I got a chance to save my par here. By the way, you guys, you'll know. Oh, what? Garbage. You'll notice I'm getting a lot of pop sounds from my new mic. Well, special thanks to, I think it is, let me just pull it up here. Bull Pride. Bull Pride gave me a little... DM and he said, hey, the videos sound great, except you got a lot of pop, pop, pop. And so he suggested I get a pop mic filter. That comes in a few days from Amazon. That being said, our delivery service up here in the Okanagan Valley is less than stellar. I ordered a bidet on Amazon. Should have been here a few days ago. I'm 51, boys. I spent a lot of time sitting in airplanes. I need the bidet, if you know what I mean. Anyway, it is not here yet, much to the displeasure of you-know-what. 
So hopefully my pot might filter. Come on, look at that pot. Another, another rimmer. Come on, Rusty, get your crap together. Minus one, we should be minus three or four, but I love this course. Great work on the T signs. He's got the whole signs. He's got a beautiful blend. Everything Rusty's looking for in a top Rusty course. Okay, 270 yards. You see that, Bob? It was downhill, but don't worry about it. All right, here we go. Oh, and I just crushed it. The roids kicked in, and that was it. Ooh, but you get to look at that nice 3D grass. Oh, less than a week. Oh, no, I get Oh, look at that. Kept rolling. Got lucky. Saved the par. Off we go to hole 15. Love everything about this course. As Phil put it, this is his pride and joy. He put a lot of blood and sweat into this course, and it's fantastic. Love this course. It is a top rusty course for sure. All right, how are we doing here? A little weak, a little weak with the little face open there. Getting them ahead of myself. Let's see if I can save it here. Ooh, all right. Got a putt to save par here. Come on, Ross, nine feet. Oh, no problem. Where was that putt before? Like the three lip outs you've had. Okay, off we go to 16 now. 278 yards, 14 yards uphill. So we'll see how it goes. That actually felt like a pretty good drive, but it's uphill, so I'm not expecting huge distance. All right, 230 uphill. That's probably 270, Bob, in real life. No, probably 250 where I, what I normally hit. Okay, decent approach. Meh, just whatever. Ooh, a little bit of a slope here. This is a bit of a tougher track, guys, so don't worry too much if you if you have a tough time with it. Nice, nice par save. It's beautiful, right? This is one you, like I said on my other videos, you don't care. You just look at that. Look at all that beautiful scenery, the elevation changes, the great work Phil has done, and you drink some beer, and you have the boys over. Only the good ones, though, because the ones that suck will have a real tough time with this course. Oh, yeah, I crushed that. I think I had a seven iron, and it just flew forever. Big putt. This has got three putt written all over it. There's one. <laughs> Freight train it by. Got an uphill putt. Let's see if I can save it for par. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Rusty's mad. I almost had a V8 Burbo moment there. Rusty angry. All right, no problem. I'm over it. 18th hole, back to even. Let's just see if we can get out of here even. And good drive. Good drive. Pay attention, Bob Chung. Down below, watch me. I got something for you there because I feel like Bob right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm, kiss those biceps, Rusty. Nailed that drive. 78 yards on the approach, a little uphill. Oh, just a little short. Let's see if we can actually just tap this in for a par or a birdie, sorry. No, oh, so many close encounters today. I love this course. Great job, Phil. You're doing Victoria Golf Club next. I can't wait for it. Let's do what we need to do. Yep, favorite it, great job. All right, everybody, got some more coming down the road here. A lot of courses coming out right now. I'm going to try and filter out the exceptional ones. They're all good, but I'm going to give you the exceptional ones. Peace out.